I want to talk about the Dragon Ball Super manga characters in Sparking Zero that are most requested. Now, let me give a disclaimer so no one's going to be that guy. I do not think these characters are going to appear in the game unless we get an anime return and or for a very, 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 very special, very special clause. If Shueisha said, yeah, it's okay, but assuming all those things haven't been met, you understand that this isn't a, these characters are going to be in the game. No, this is a discussion piece on what characters would be in the game if, if those things I just mentioned were met. But alas, let's try to get 100 likes on this video and hopefully you guys understand and we're not being weird. So with the game on the horizon, there are particular characters that are introduced in the Dragon Ball Super manga that are most requested. You see these characters appear in discussion pieces. What if the manga characters were in Sparking Zero? Now, again, I want to stress that I am well aware that these characters aren't going to make it in the game until the anime reveals them. Meaning that until an anime, a movie, goes over these characters, they do something significant, enough to be covered, we ain't seeing them anytime soon. Now, the Dragon Ball Super manga covers two arcs that we did not see in anime or movie format. That is the Moro arc and that is the Granola arc. These two particular arcs introduce characters that would work perfectly in this game format those particular characters we're gonna start with the moral arc explained and go to the granola arc then explain so for moro we have several characters this includes three to be exact miris 73 moro with miris we will have two forms we have his base form we have his angel form then we will have seven three and then with moro we would have four exact forms old form young form seven three form ultra instinct form that is four for him that is one for seven three and that's two for miris so just doing three plus four is seven so it'll be three characters but seven forms all together that means that seven characters in total will come from just the moral arc alone now there are special circumstances in there the only thing from the z warriors that changes is goku has ultra instinct sign and then he has ultra instinct complete which he can transform into but the tournament of power already showed those two forms thus None of the Z-Warriors have any new forms or anything showcased unless you want to talk about Vegeta's ability where he uses against Moro to get the upper hand. Now these three characters were the best characters from this arc. Now there were some henchmen that Moro had, but of the henchmen, 7-3 was the most useful and hands down the best in my opinion. Now for Miris, he was hands down just the best character, my opinion, in the arc already was implied to be stronger than what he showcased then later he opted to train goku so that he could use ultra instinct and then goku through it eventually perfected it moro was the character that possessed the cool forms he was one of those villains that was different than the other ones where it just seemed like no matter what they did they wasn't going to beat him it felt very hard to imagine how they would win and in 7-3 had a cool ability that allowed him to copy the abilities of others he touched he could use it for a short amount of time i thought that was cool and then of course moro did his thing and became broken and it made it even harder harder to figure it out now these three characters will be cool to play with in sparking zero and quite honestly their abilities translate well into that type of game but again uncertain because the anime is not back yet now as for the granola arc we have a handful of new characters that are introduced in as well as forms so first and foremost i just want to throw out there ultra ego vegeta is introduced in his arc hands down would be the most requested character from this arc no arguments whatsoever then after this the next two characters would be granola and black frieza two characters that people would hands down want to see now from here something that's more of a me and maybe not a lot of people agree is bardock dragon ball super version he fights differently in in this particular part of the story versus his dbz special version 
I would like for them to explore this version of Bardock, seeing as multiple characters have multiple variations. What's the difference with Bardock? So maybe he should have a DBS version, or perhaps they give us a DBS version because of the Broly movie and then give him abilities based off of the manga arc. And then you have Gas. Gas has like what two three forms he has short form then when he wished to become stronger that form than the other form i think he also has four forms i ain't gonna lie i'll have to double check if i'm incorrect and i'll correct myself but all together that would be ultra instinct ego granola that's two black freezer that's three bardock that's four gas that's five plus whatever forms he has so five plus characters from this arc alone now it's kind of obvious why ultra ego would be on there because that's the equivalent to ultra instinct and why wouldn't vegeta get the cool thing right now i feel like if you're a vegeta fan for the games you're getting hoed so bad like i know y'all want to see ultra ego in the games black frieza in my opinion is just off the hype how fast he was able to beat the strongest forms of goku and vegeta as well as the villain of the the end villain of the arc and Bardock, for me, in the Dragon Ball Super manga, just seemed more powerful than what he was in the anime special. And Gaz, I ain't gonna lie, Gaz was kind of, uh, like, boring. Just because he had no hype or anything, in my opinion. But Gaz, because he, well, held his own and was the final villain of the arc. So, of course, I mean, you could argue Frieza, but I, I say Gaz, put him in there. So overall, these are the characters from the manga arcs that weren't included in the anime. The characters I would like to see. Ultimately, you may have other characters that you would like to see from the manga, or you may just not want to see any character from the manga. But the point to this video was me outlining the characters from the Moro arc and the Granola arc and explaining why I would want these particular characters to appear. Now, what I want you guys to do, and may or may not be able to do this, is outline some Dragon Ball Super manga only characters that, if possible, you would like to see in the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero game. And who knows? Maybe the anime comes back while this game's life cycle is going on and we get a DLC for it later on. Or maybe there's a character that's more hype than the ones that we get in this game. Only time will tell. But with that said, let's try to get 100 likes on this video. I am Makai San. Hit the like button and I'll catch you guys later in the next one. Peace.